Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. I'm Patrice and today we are going to be testing out these sublimation glass mugs that I purchased from Amazon. All right, so I purchased two different styles of glass sublimation products. And so this is the first. And this is listed as, okay, so these are Mason blank sublimation jars and four pieces came with this. And we are going to unbox and also test these out. So I've done the frosted and I've also done a glass mug before. Um, but I've kind of steered away from doing glass, but I recently purchased some items from another seller and I loved how the glass mug turned out. So I ordered some more from Amazon to see how these sell. I guess these are the straws for them as well. Inside they have instructions for heating time temp and pressure and then they also have i guess this is just more information saying like how to get this done or the sublimation process so that's pretty cute all right so let's see what this looks like All right, so this is pretty cute, but it still kind of gives me a little frosty uh, look, like slightly frosty. When I ordered, I thought that they were clear, but this still looks a little frosty, but they are really, really cute. So this is what they look like. And then, of course, the straw will go inside after we've subbed but it still looks frosty. I'm not sure if you guys can really tell, but it's not, it's frosty, but not as frosty as the actual uh, frosted glass mugs, but I did think that that was gonna be a little more clearer. I'm gonna save my box. All right, so we're gonna move to the next part. All right, y'all, so this is our next package and I'm just going to cut away the bubble wrap. I think I, I think this is 12 glass mugs. always when you're cutting open packages you want to be careful depending on what's inside that you don't cut or scratch what's underneath this feels like it's padded so I'm not all that worried in addition I always have to give this disclaimer do not try to put these inside of your Cricut mug press okay because it causes like a shortage in the mug press and you will not be able to use it and it is not covered under your warranty because it is not a Cricut product. All right, so here we have our mugs and this is the same supplier on Amazon, SFS Blank. And so they still, they list everything. So this, they listed more so like the glass. They sent the ceramic with me for the other mug, the Mason mug, but that was actually glass. So, but this is their ceramic kind of like cheat sheet. And then in this one, they actually sent the correct cheat sheet. Okay, so let's see. So they do have a boxed clear glass Mason mug, and then they have a boxed frosted glass Mason mug. So I need to check and see which one I actually ordered. <laughs> But I'm pretty sure because I have, oh, well, I don't know. 
And see, this looks like it's frosted too. Oh, no, it's not. Okay, so this is a clear mug, and on the bottom looks a little frosty. But this is a clear mug. This is actually clear. And so we're going to try this out, and yep, it's 12. So I do kind of want to show you guys the difference. I don't know if you guys can really tell the difference, but I can tell this is a little more frosty, and this is clear. Clear, frosty, clear. Frosty. All right, y'all. So I've already printed out my images and I am just prepping these cups so that we can go ahead and sub onto them. Make sure that you clean your surface off with a little bit of alcohol and make sure that it is dried before you apply your sublimation paper to it. Now, this is a little too large, the paper. So what I'm going to do is I am going to cut off some of that white space around the image because y'all I don't want any air getting underneath the image and I think air would have gotten underneath the image. So today I am using a sub sublimation paper and I am also printing with my ink dynamic ink and that can be found inside of my Etsy store. Now I'm just taping around the image very tightly because you don't want any air to get underneath because that will cause a little bit of blurring of the image once it's pressed or ghosting and you don't necessarily want that. So make sure that your image is nice and secure onto any tumblers or mugs that you're pressing. So now we are going to do the same thing with this coffee mug, just to make sure that everything is going to work out as we expect it to. And I can't stress the importance of making sure that the paper is in contact with the glass. Make sure that you are pulling that paper tight. You don't want to see any bulging of the paper or you don't want to see it loose in any areas. So everything is looking good, but we are using a sub sublimation paper today and this paper bleeds. So we will be wrapping the cups with an extra sheet of protection. You can use regular copy paper or as I'm using, you can use butcher paper. This is important because you don't want that ink to stain your heating element and affect other presses. Today we will be using my 7-in-1 mug press from Heat Press Nation and right now I am just setting the temperature and we will be pressing these mugs at 380 degrees for 180 seconds. Alright, so once the temperature is set we will get ready to press but prior to that I want to go ahead and test out the pressure of the heat press just to make sure that this pressure is going to be good for the mugs we want to use a heavy pressure and so all we have to do is adjust these knobs to kind of help with that so we are all set and ready to press and first i want to put on my heat gloves because this heating element gets really really hot and you have to get really really close to it so make sure you have heating gloves and to get the mug in i am just going to slide that mug in i also recommend testing out the pressure prior to even turning on your mug press because you don't want to have to test it out and it's already heated up so definitely check out your pressure first if you are using a convection oven i would bake these for about 12 to 14 minutes at about 385 degrees. So now we are done and I am just going to set this to the side but I want you guys to see how the paper started to burn. Not the sublimation paper but the butcher paper so you want to definitely be conscious of, of that. And now we are going to press the mug and everything is remaining the same, same time and temp. And I did get these suggested times and temps from Heat Press Nation. All right, so we are all done and I am going to set this mug aside to cool off a bit. I cannot wait to see the outcome of how this image transferred over to the mug. So I let these cool off for a few minutes and now it's time to reveal 
how these Amazon sublimation mugs worked out and make sure that you still have some gloves around. These mugs get super, super hot, but I'm gonna go ahead and take off the heat tape so that we can see what it looks like. And y'all, it looks really, really good. I'm so impressed with how this color transferred over to the mug. And next we are going to get ready to unveil our coffee mug. And y'all, I can see this image coming through the back. So that's why you definitely wanna make sure you have put your paper when wrapping these items. But let's see how this heat tape comes off. Oh, I almost showed you guys too soon. And yeah, let me move that out of the way. And let's see how this turned out. And y'all, these colors look amazing on this mug. I absolutely love the outcome. So I wanted to give you all a close up view of the cups. They both turned out great. I got these images from off of designbundles.net and they look great onto these clear glass mugs. Usually I sub onto the ceramic mugs, but y'all, these are gorgeous and I absolutely love them. I'll have a link listed below to everything that I used in this video. Okay, y'all, so I'm impressed with the outcome of these transparent glass mugs that we ordered from Amazon for sublimation, okay? So everything looks great. The colors transferred beautifully. The only thing that I can say about this mason jar mug is that there are some imperfections with these mugs and these are not the cheapest of mugs. So I would want these mugs to be perfect and they really aren't. There's several uh, noticeable imperfections like the bottom it's a little funky and also the lid uh, when I took it out there are some slight dents in the lid um, but yeah it still looks a little frosty to me but I did order the clear mason jar mugs so if you ordered these let me know below what you think if yours were uh, more clear than I think mine are but the coffee mug is amazing I love it the color transfers super nicely to both of these items. So if you are interested in getting any of these items, the link is listed below. But also, y'all, I have a few extra mugs. So if you are interested in testing these out, I will be giving away a set of these mugs, one mason jar and one coffee mug to one of you. So leave in the comments the word mugs mugs with an s m u g s and i will make an announcement in the community post of who wins the mugs if you enjoyed this video please be sure to give it a thumbs up also make sure to hit the subscribe button in addition head over to facebook instagram and tiktok and follow craftable things over there as well but that's going to be it for today y'all thank you all so much for watching until next time.